Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Semtech 05. In previous video, we seen how we can export the mass from Hypermesh to open form in STL format when we have very simple component. But as we can see here, this component is little complex component and it is not recommended to export in STL format. In polymesh generation here will be difficult for the open form. The smashing we generated in one of the previous video of the CFD mesh tutorial. So if you worrying about that, how these 3D element, 2D element are generated, then you can go with this video. Here you can see the boundary layers. These are my boundary layers and inside the boundary layers, we have the tetra mesh. So you can generate this with the help of CFD tetra mesh options. Okay. Sometimes we have such situations. By fault, we deleted let's say this wall inlet and outlet condition by fault by deleted we have only the 3d massing and this 3d massing also not in the single component it is in two component okay first thing that is my fluid domain this fluid domain i have to move into one component that, that, this is the first task right click create and let's say component and fluid domain at the same time, I want to generate inlet and outlet. So let's say one component is as inlet, another is as outlet, one more component that is wall. If you have some other boundary conditions, then you can name this boundary condition and you can create. Okay. So we have these two pre existing components float component inflow outflow and wall conditions okay make it uh, auto color these two component we will delete after ex uh, moving the mesh from these two component to float domain so how to do it shift f11 organize options what i want to organize element let's say these all elements are belongs to float domain so float and click on move Now these all elements are in the single component and that component is float component. All other two component, uh, these are the empty actually. Let's say delete. Okay. Now how to generate inflow, outflow and wall? Because those are 2D element and by fault I deleted or maybe someone provided us 3D element only. So in this case, you have to go with the find faces options. So here in the tool faces options, select the component or you may select the element. These element, you can also use component options. Okay, then you have to select this component. Make sure the all element belongs to one component only and then click on find faces. So see here actually one face is created, but uh, both having same color so float domain also having red color and faces also having red color so i'm going to convert change this color okay faces color so now we have a layer of 2d element on the 3d element okay on the 3d element we have one layer of 2d element so now how we can move those element let's say again organize options and one element element by face for sake of simplicity you can hide your fluid element 3d element to avoid any selection of 3d element okay because i don't want to move now 3d element and I, I want to move only the 2d element by face and this is my inlet click on move similarly one element two element and by face so all face here the face means everything means the geometry or elements they will select until they have a sharp corner between them let's say these all elements selected because they are tangentially connected to each other but these elements are not selected these elements are not selected why because here we have sharp corner okay so by face means they selected until we or means until the element maintain the tangency so let's say this is my wall and click on move 
similarly one one element on the each face and go with the by face and let's say this is my outflow i think i i have to give this as outflow this as inflow doesn't matter okay because this is the tutorial one so that's fine now i have nothing in faces i can delete this faces folder make sure you have the fluid domain you can check it by hiding half of element see this is my fluid domain red one this is my wall condition here this is my outlet condition and this is my inlet condition all look good then unmask everything and now i want to export it for the open form so to export again you can use the same hypermesh profile or you can go with the engineering solution then cfd and general profile so i am using hypermesh profile itself let's say export options export what solver deck make sure you are using cfd options here it is here it is for what software for what solver for <coughs> for open form i want to export then select the destination if anything problematic in the file then software will deny to export or it will show that error okay so hypermesh to open form 1 then select the folder okay always select the different folder if you are trying to export it 10 times then select 10 different folders each time because it generate lots of files go to the export it is showing one message then click on yes software proceeding and there it is looks all good and open form case is created in this particular folder if there is any mistake then software will show it to us let me show you the folder see here the manifold file that i have and when i selected this particular folder hypermesh to open form software generated these three sub folders in these three sub sub folders basically we have constants polymers means all the polymers is generated by the software you can see the boundary conditions are generated go with open it in notepad or notepad plus plus or anything else so you can see here here you have inlet condition here we have outlet condition and wall condition these three these three uh, boundary conditions we have if you have four condition five condition then number of component will be generated accordingly let's say cell zones open with again yeah here we have only one cell zone one fluid domain if you have multiple fluid domain then they will be appear to you here you can see one fluid domain only so now you can use this files this boundary conditions in open form directly Uh, let me open the same file in open form para view for that i have to consider for solver and let's assume a simplest example for the problem uh, let's say i go form solver and here i'm creating one more folder named as manifold in this manifold folder i have to copy these three files folders okay Now after that, I have to generate the test file to open it in ParaView. And to generating a test file, let me open a Ubuntu. So here it is. Let me go to the root directory. Let's say run folder and icoform manifold folder. For that, I have to go with the cd 
tutorials and incompressible icoform and here i have manifold folder right go to the list yes we are in the manifold folder so now to generate the touch file type the command touch then file name let's say file name is manifold dot home press enter and make refresh here okay yes manifold file is generated you can open it in para view or directly click on open so it will be available in the para view this is just to show you how it will look like in the para view how you can proceed uh, further you need to apply the boundary conditions as per your solution condition and then only you can run the file click on apply so this is our model and if you want to see it in the wireframe mode or we can say in edge mode let's say surface and edge and you can see here these are my elements for the manifold component so that's all for this video so that's all for this video tutorial and in next video we will see if we have multiple domains like two floats are mixing in each other okay interface type of conditions we have then what we have to do to export in open form thank you